Hey, welcome back to another episode of Whiskey Row. So I hate to do this, but we're going to be doing another store haul tonight because I keep buying stuff and I keep trading with people and the bottles keep stacking up. And if I don't do a store haul, I'm going to forget something. So tonight we're doing another store haul. I'm actually drinking Bull Run Distillery uh, bourbon. This comes out of Oregon. I actually picked this up on my Oregon trip. It comes in at 90 proof, so it's not the uh, cast strength one. I searched high and low all through the state of Oregon when we were out there trying to find a Bull Run cast strength because I heard that the Bull Run cast strength is the best Oregon whiskey there is. I never found one, so I just bought a 90 proof one, and it's not bad either. I, I can't complain. It's, it's pretty tasty. Let's get this bottle out of the way. It's definitely on the sweeter side of things. Lots of vanilla and caramel in there. Just the ever so faintest little bit of herbal and black pepper. Maybe a touch of, of cinnamon, just a teeniest little bit. If you're ever in Oregon or you can get a hold of a bottle of Bull Run, give it a shot, especially if you're a sweet bourbon fan. All right, so y'all might remember that I bought a uh, I bought two giant Eagle Rares, the 1.75 uh, handles of Eagle Rare, the giant tall ones. I traded that to one of those to Eugene, one of uh, one of my Patreons, and uh, basically what he sent me in return was a single barrel select pick of Buffalo Trace. Very excited to get this one's from Fine Wine and Good Spirits up in I want to say Delaware or Pennsylvania. I think it's Delaware. I can't remember, but I'm very excited. It's my first Buffalo Trace store pick, and because he knows that I love the Redwood Empire Lost Monarch, and I cannot get it here in Virginia. Uh, I also got that. So uh, these two for a giant Eagle Rare. I am very happy with my trade because I have more Eagle Rare than I know what to do with. So next up tonight is a giant friggin' bottle of Weller Special Reserve. Now this giant bottle was purchased in Arizona by Jordan and Jordan traded me this for a giant bottle of Eagle Rare. So I had the two giant bottles of Eagle Rare. One went to Eugene, one went to Jordan. Eugene got me the single uh, barrel Buffalo Trace and the Lost Monarch from Redwood Empire. And Jordan got me this giant Old Weller Special Reserve. Very excited for this one just because it's a giant bottle. It's literally is the size of my head. Nope, my head is still bigger. That sucks. I uh, can't help the size of my head. Uh, very excited for this one. I don't love Weller Special Reserve, but it is a good pour. And to get a giant one is pretty cool because I've never seen one of these in Virginia. So, Jordan, thank you for the trade. Appreciate it, man. So after, you all may remember a couple videos ago, a little while back, I did a store haul video. And it was kind of about, like, coming clean and, like, level setting the speakeasy because sometimes I miss bottles and forget bottles. Well, these two are such bottles. There's two bottles here that I got when I was in Georgia and I forgot to put them in the Georgia video. So the first one is a Larceny Barrel Proof. It's an A121. I paid about 20 bucks over retail for this one. Probably not really worth it because I can get these in Virginia. However, I hadn't seen any yet this year. So I was kind of nervous and I was going to miss some. So I did pick up an A121. I do have a Larceny C920 from last year, but that was the only one I got last year. So I already was wanting to make sure I kind of kept up with the uh, Larcenies a little bit. I prefer the Elijah Craig Barrel Proofs, but the Larcenies are uh, nothing to uh, to turn away from. So decided to pick this one up in Georgia. Did it, like I said, paid a little bit over retail. The other thing I paid over retail for in Georgia, and again, I'm not too sorry for it, is the Bardstown Discovery Series 5. Haven't opened this yet. I'm kind of excited for it. I'm kind of nervous. I'm hearing some things uh, that they may have put some, you know, that, that this may not be the greatest, but wanted to try it. I got the Discovery 4. I opened that one up and I didn't love it. And then I let it sit for a couple months and then I opened it again and it was really, really good. So uh, I'm kind of like opening my horizons with the Bardstown products. So I'm, I'm hopeful. I'm hopeful that the Bardstown Series 5 will be good. Anyway, I picked that up when I was in Georgia and I, they didn't end up being in the Georgia store hall. So my bad. I make mistakes, uh, but I did get them. So I'm pretty excited about that. So next up, this sweet bottle of Smoke Wagon Uncut Unfiltered. Now, in the Georgia Hall video, uh, I did get one when I was down there. I just kind of stumbled into it. So, but before I got that one, this was actually the first one that I picked that was coming my way. This was uh, sent to me from Joe, who was working in Las Vegas, ended up 
getting a bottle of this, actually I think he ended up two, was kind enough to send me one and I paid him for it. I really appreciate it. Thank you so much, Joe. Smoke Wagon on Cutter Filter. I can't really get it here in Virginia. I think you can special order it. Excited to get this one. I actually opened this one in the live stream and man, I tell you, it's, it's really, really good. I was very, very pleased with that. I'm going to pour a little bit because it sounds really good right now. It's got some heat, but it's got this like really good butterscotch and honey vanilla sweetness. It's got some good herbalness, some clove, some black pepper, and man, it kind of comes together in this really good bourbon. I'm, I'm very pleased with the Smoke Wagon Uncut and Filter. So this one's coming in at 112 proof. If you can get your hands on it, definitely snag one. Don't go chasing it, but retail, grab one. It's pretty tasty. Next up tonight, this bottle of Booker's 202102, the tag along batch. Now I do have the uh, 2021-01 up there. I have not opened it yet. I'm gonna try to get some more of the 2021s before I start busting them open because I still have older ones still open. I got too much open. This was sent to me by one of the Patreons, uh, Platypus, uh, down in North Carolina. He sent me this one. I appreciate that very much, kind sir. This was something that, again, I can get bookers here in Virginia, but I don't know when. And so when I have the chance to just to snag it, be done, not have to camp in a store or hunt for it, I appreciate it because I, I just I don't have time sometimes. So being able to get one, I was very excited about. This one's coming in at 127.9 proof, six years and five months. The bookers, almost every bookers I've had, I enjoy. So I don't mind the money because it's not that risky. There are other bourbons I've spent a lot more for that haven't been as good. Anyway, Platypus, hey, thanks, appreciate it. The next group of bottles comes from a store hall where I went and camped out at a store in Virginia for like four hours. It took forever for the truck to finally come and then for the workers to unload the truck. The next three bottles are from that store hall in Virginia and I paid retail for all three. What was I waiting in line for? Well, I was hoping to get an old Fitz and there were rumors from some of the employees that there might be Michter's 10, the new batch of Michter's 10 on there. Y'all know I'm a sucker for that, so I was super stoked for that. Um, and so those were the two that I was really wanting. And they are actually dropping Weller Antique 107 right now in the state. And there had been several drops across the state. So, you know, there's always the chance that I'd be lucky enough to be in a store that gets it. Here's what I did end up getting in spite of what I was hoping to get. Larceny Barrel Proof. This is the B521 batch. So in Georgia, I got the A and now I've got the B. It is coming in at 121 proof. What's up next? Woodford Reserve Batch Proof. Now this particular bottle comes in at 128.3 proof. I have never had a Woodford Reserve Batch Proof. I have had the Master's Collection chocolate malted rye and this is not very good <laughs> i paid uh almost 154 so i went way above retail on that one and i regret it so i'm hopeful that this one's got some uh, pretty good flavor uh it was kind of expensive but i really like the bottle on this i don't know about you guys but this bottle with the, like the fat glass bottom the thick uh that's a cool bottle i i'm i'm digging this bottle when they brought it out, everybody in line who wanted one grabbed one and there was still like, there were only six bottles and there were like 12 people in line and there were still like three sitting on the counter but people weren't buying them up. So maybe they're not that great or maybe people just aren't excited by a Woodford Reserve Masters Collection. Yeah. Uh, even though Mictor's 10 is hitting the state right now, I did not get a Mictor's 10. So I was a little bummed. It did not show up on the truck. We waited forever for them to finish unloading and inventorying everything and there was no Mictor's 10 and there was no old Weller Antique 107. That said, I did get my first Old Fitz. So this is the Old Fitz eight year bottle and bond. This is the first time Old Fitzgerald has done an eight year because the bourbon market is demanding more Old Fitz because everybody seems to like it. And I'll be honest with you, I almost don't care what it tastes like because this bottle <laughs> is amazing. I was very excited to get this bottle. What is this? It's like glue from the sticker. Anyway, I hadn't noticed that before, sorry. Anyway, this old Fitz bottle decanter, this old style decanter is friggin' amazing. So very excited to get this bottle. And hopefully in the future, I'll be able to get some of the older, uh, the other older old Fitzes. <laughs> so this next bottle, I hunted and hunted and hunted and I could never get it. I tried 
multiple times to get the drops here in Virginia. And I missed every one. Y'all know I'm a wild turkey fan. I love my 101, my rare breed, my Russell single barrel. And now I have a Russell's Reserve 13. And I can take zero credit for grabbing this bottle. So uh, Joe down in Fredericksburg, one of my buddies, he actually got this bottle when we were we were kind of exchanging messages trying to grab stuff he lives like 20 minutes south of me and we were exchanging messages trying to you know coordinate to figure out where to get bottles of this he snagged one like the first drop in his town i tried the drops in my town i couldn't get one they didn't have them we tried chasing it about an hour away none of us could get another one this was the only bottle that any you know anybody i know around here got from the russell's 13. anyway joe's in the middle of moving and he didn't feel like moving the bottle and he knew how excited i was for this one so joe thank you so much so how did i get this bottle so joe gave this to me uh with one caveat he asked me to try to get him a bottle of uh, Stag Jr. So Stag Jr. Batch 16 should be dropping here in Virginia during the month of July. He won't be in town to chase the Stag. So uh, in exchange for the Russell's Reserve 13, I'm going to chase the Stag Jr. Batch 16. The first bottle of Stag Jr. Batch 16 I get, I'm going to give to Joe as repayment for the Russell's Reserve 13 which means I've got to snag two bottles of Rus of Stag Jr. because one's, the first one's going to Joe and then the second one's going to me. I'm so excited for this and it is so good. I love this bottle of bourbon. Joe, when you get back into town, man, we're pouring some because this is a, an, a, this is a great bottle. I love this. If you like wild turkey, this is like a mature, delicious, gourmet wild turkey. I don't even know how to describe it. So I actually busted this open and did a live tasting during the live stream that I did with Jamie. But I'm going to I'm gonna pour some now because, gosh, I, I can't talk about this bottle and not pour it. Uh, is it worth chasing on secondary? Uh, the answer is it's up to you. It's good, but I don't recommend chasing anything anymore. I just, I'm done with that. 20 bucks, whatever, I don't care. But like the crazy markups, it's not happening. I can't, I'm... I'm kind of done with that. There's too many good bourbons that are regular prices that it's going to have to be real unicorn for me to chase anymore. I say that and then like, you know, five or six store hall videos from now, I'm going to spend like five times MSRP on something because I got stupid. So, so this is just like, like a banana split with like vanilla cream. Oh, it's some herbalness, a little bit of black pepper and just like this vanilla creaminess. It smells so good. But it's wild turkey, you know what I mean? So it's not like just a desserty bourbon. It's like got wild turkey character. So this thing's coming at 114 proof. And it's got some black pepper and clove. It's got a hint of vanilla, some caramel. It's like a good sweetness. It's got this whole tingly mouth coat feel thing going on. 13 years, you get some oak and tobacco. It's wild turkey all the way. But like I said, it's like a gourmet wild turkey. Wild turkey when the turkey is wearing a tuxedo. That's Russell's 13. The joking aside, that is, this is a fantastic bottle. I hope and pray that Russell's is going to continue to release this on a semi-regular basis or something because this bottle is so good to me. That's the haul video for today. I am out. I have no more new whiskeys to show you. The stockpile is empty. If you end up enjoying the video, give it a thumbs up. Subscribe to the channel if you haven't. Follow us on Instagram at The Whiskey Row. Support us on Patreon if you feel like it at patreon.com slash whiskey row. Check out our online merch store for some sweet Whiskey Row related products. We've got t-shirts, flask, we've got two kinds of glasses, and lighters. All that said, until next time, find a bottle you love.